Christmas and New Year because it has become routine. Every year, at the end of the year, there is normally a terror attack. This time round, Rono and the team there work so hard during that time and we are very proud for the work they did because, in fact, from that time, we have not had an issue at all until when he passed on two days ago. That's when we had uh, an attack there. That shows you how instrumental our brother was in spearheading the security agencies and coordinating his colleagues there to make sure that our people of Lamu are safe. We condole with you. Tunawaombea nguvu za Mwenyezi Mungu na sisi kama serikali tutasimama na familia, watoto, mke, ndugu na majirani wa ndugu yetu marehemu Rono kama ishara ya urafiki ambao tumekuwa nao na kama heshima yetu kama serikali kwa ndugu yetu ambaye alijitolea muhanga ili watu wengine wawe salama na wapate usingizi the same way our brother worked tirelessly and patriotically to make sure the people of Lamu can sleep peacefully we will also stand with his family we will stand with his people and make sure also that the, you, the people and the family are not exposed because their leader and their elder has rested. Katika matayarisho ambayo ya naendelea ya mazishi, tumesema kwamba serikali itagaramia garama yote ambaye itahitajika kama heshima kwa ndugu yetu vile vile ndugu yetu alikuwa na mke wake ambaye yako hapa na watoto wake tutasaidia familia hiyo ili wafikie malengo ambayo ndugu yetu alikuwa nayo kwa familia yake watoto wote wanne ambao wako hapa wasichana wawili wavulana wawili sisi kama serikali tutachukua jukumu ya elimu yao vile vile kwa wale ambao wamemaliza eh, eh, mmoja amemaliza shule tutamsaidia aendelee na masomo lakini pia tutamsaidia kupata kazi ili asaidie wale wengine ndugu yetu rono alikuwa mtu mzuri na alikuwa anaishi na familia yake vizuri na ndugu zake vizuri. Kwa hivyo kwa heshima ya ndugu yetu na familia tumesema vile vile serikali itasaidia wale ambao ni ndugu zake ambao wako mbali, nimeambiwa wale wengi wako mbali na kuna mmoja ambaye ni ofisa wa polisi ambaye anafanya kazi anafanya kazi huko Kitui Yes. 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 So huyu anafanya kazi ya polisi kule kule Kitui lakini nimeelezwa na ndugu yangu kimtai hapa ya kwamba familia ingetaka tumtoe kule Kitui kuje Nairobi na pia tumtafutie nafasi awe mmoja wa wale mafsa wanaudumu katika Central Bank of Kenya na tukifanya hivyo vile vile kuna ofisa mwingine nimesikia pia anafanya presidential escort hiyo Mohamed tumesema ya kwamba matakwa yote ya familia tutatimiza lakini tumeomba tu kwanza tupumzishe ndugu yetu na vile tutafanya ndio kusiwe na hata moja ambalo tutasahau tuta nimeamrisha 
mkuu ambaye commissioner wa wetu wa Kericho ako hapa Gabriel Kitio county commissioner at Gil, eh, eh, Gilbert Kitio watafanya kazi na msimamisi ama msemaji wa familia hii wapi yule mzee kuja huyu mzee na pia kuna jirani mwingine hapa wenu ambaye ni county commissioner wa kisi anaitwa Boen nimempatia kazi juzi sio na mimi nakumbuka watu ya dunia hii nimefanya <laughs> 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 kwa county commissioner juzi hata hajamaliza miezi tatu miezi mbili tu sasa ndiye ana wakati kumekuwa na vurugu pale kisi nimemwambia aende akomeshe ile kisirani pale and so far is doing a good job mkali kabisa niona akiambia watu wengine hapa mimi sijakuja hapa likizo nimekuja kufanya kazi so is doing a good job so lias with the, your, your counterpart here and yourself mulete matakwa yote ya familia ile tumesema ili tuwafuatilie ya yeah. hao ndio wawakilishi wa, wa serikali hapa katika hii area county commissioner unajua ni mwakilishi wa rais si namna hiyo so wakati information itafika kwa hawa wakiwa na kitio imevika kwa waziri imevika kwa rais si namna hiyo vile vile um, kuna mambo kadhaa ambayo tumeyazungumzia ya kibinafsi ya kusaidia familia tutahakikisha kwamba marupurupu yote na mambo yote ya malipo ya mwenda zake familia yake imepata kwa njia ya haraka na vile vile kuna miradi ya kibinafsi mwenda zetu alikuwa nayo tutamsaidia kukamilisha hiyo miradi na tumeongea na familia ndio mke wake na watoto wake wasipate kutabika kwa sababu ule alikuwa eh, msingi wao ni kama Mungu amemchukua sisi tumebaki tutasimama na hao kwa sababu hata sisi siku ile tutaenda tutahitaji watu wengine kusimama na sisi. Kweli si kweli. Kuna vile vile hii barabara, umeona barabara hii si nzuri tutaitengeneza. Nimeambiwa vile vile hii shule iko hapa. Marehemu alikuwa na maono ya kufanya mradi mzuri wa kupanua na kuweka maslahi masingira ma bora ya watoto wetu hapa kusoma vizuri. Kwa hivyo kupitia ombi la familia tutaijenga hii shule vile vile. Na nimeambiwa kwanza kabisa tunajenga dining hall kubwa nzuri ambayo itaitwa eh, kwa jina ya Louis Rono dining hall. Si namna hiyo tumeongea mambo mingi na tumeambia familia waketi watuambie vile wagataka tuwasaidie kusiwe ati kwa sababu mwenzetu ameaga ati sasa familia yake inaanza kutabika na kijiji chake mahali alitoka watu wanaendelea kuhangaika kwa hivyo mimi nawaomba muendelee kuunga mkono vijana wenu ambao wanafanya kazi eh, kwa serikali na mahali pengine pale na kwa sababu tumeanzisha urafiki huu eh, wakati kuna maneno ya recruitment wewe kimtai unitafute tutakuwa tuna saa nyingine tunaongeza kijana mmoja wawili hapa ili kupatikane rono wengine wa siku zijazo si namna hiyo nikimalizia ni shukuru viongozi wetu hapa eh, sana sana Seneta wenu wa Kericho. Seneta Harun Cheruyot, Kiptoyot, Komakasti. <laughs> Ndiye Kiptoyot unajua wakati alikuwa anaomba kura siku ile ya kwanza akiwa kijana mdogo. Mimi nilikuwa ile kazi anafanya saa hii ndio mimi nilikuwa siku hiyo. Nilikuwa Senate Majority Leader. Kuja tukahangaika hapa akakuwa Seneta. He was a very young man lakini over time He has become a very very solid mature and dependable leader in our country yeye ndiye alinintroduce kwa louis rono yeye 
nilimwambia si unitafutie mtu hapo kilicho ni promote hapa nipate ndio kwa sababu saa hii tumepata hii kiketi ndio watu ya pale nyumbani kwetu kilicho pia waone hii serikali na wajali akaniambia kuna mtu mmoja atakusaidia kwa hii kazi yako ya ngao anaitwa Rono saa hiyo alikuwa DCC pale Ganze so wakati mnashukuru serikali wakati mnashukuru waziri mshukuru senator Aaron Jeruyoti yeye ndiye alianza hii mambo wakiwa na huyu mungwana hapa anaitwa Kemtai mti ya siasa huyu tulikuwa na yeye kwa tulikuwa na yeye kwa 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 URP zamani tukihangaika <laughs> alafu vile vile eh, Bwen sasa unaona umepata kazi sasa usi usiangushe hii jamii chini na ukazane namna hii namna hii namna hii alafu baadaye ukuje tena tufanye kitu kingine sina namna hiyo yes 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 so we thank god and we wish you well otherwise mimi kufika kwangu hapa ni kwa sababu ya heshima ya mwenzetu ndugu yetu rafiki yetu nawatakia baraka ya Mwenyezi Mungu na waombea ile mambo alikuwa nakazana nayo tunaendelea kukazana nayo sina namna hiyo kwa hiyo mimi sitaki kuongea mambo mengi mambo ile ingine tutaongea hii timu yetu hapa inapambana na mambo ya madawa ya kulevia na mambo ya ya pombe haramu ambayo inaharibu watoto wetu na hii kazi lazima tufaulu safari hii we must win this war against demonic forces that want to destroy the people of Kenya so vijana wetu wengi wamepotelea kwa madawa wamekuwa waraibu na hiyo kazi tunaendelea nayo Kenya mzima tumefunga vilabu vilivyokuwa vinaendesha kazi bila leseni hamsini tukafunga vingine ambavyo vilikuwa na leseni kinyume na sheria kwa sababu kama uko na leseni 300 meters next to a school that license is null and void 6500 so in total we have closed down 18650 alcoholic premises that were either not licensed or they were licensed contrary to national law na tunauliza serikali zetu za county you cannot license and issue licenses to bars and alcoholic outlets contrary to the provisions of the national law which is the alcoholic drinks control act any license issued contrary to national law by virtue of our constitution that license is null and void na wewe mwenye klabu hata ukipewa karatasi na serikali ya county ya kukubalia kuwa na bar nje ya shule sisi national government tutakuja tufunge yes very good hapa kwa sababu county commissioner wangu alikuwa hapa nasikia hakukua na ba hapa very good excellent excellent kwa hivyo tungetaka watoto wetu vijana wetu waiweke wa bd watafutie familia zao riziki wasaidie wazazi wao sisi watu wazima tutapoondoka tuachie inchi wakiwa makini they can take over the responsibilities of national building the farmers of tomorrow police officers eh, army people preachers journalists all manner of people si namna hiyo lakini tusikiendelea na hii tabia tuko nao watoto wetu wote na vijana watapotelea huko kwa bangi si namna hiyo so that war is going on But I I think we are doing very well. We'll continue working together with you. Nawatakia kila laheri. Naona umekuja kwa wingi kuomboleza na ni vizuri na nafurahi ku